Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be playing some FIFA 23 and today we're going to be doing a Napoli career mode episode 1. We're going to be starting this, ho hopefully get, we're going to try to do two seasons and in the space of the two seasons we're going to try one, the Serie A and even maybe the Champions League would be great. So we are going to be playing as a real manager and we are going to do so we need to find the Serie A so I have to go all the way to Italy to find Napoli so where are they? Where's, uh, am I missing it? I don't see it Napoli I don't see Napoli, I think we're gonna do uh um we're gonna be doing it, I guess just not the real manager. So we'll just create new manager. I'll just use I'll use this guy for now. Um it's gonna be called Chando. Chando manager, I suppose. Right, let's do this. It's gonna be an authentic club, and it's gonna be. Uh, where is that? Napoli FC. There it is. Got a fifth so We're gonna get. So this is gonna be your home stadium. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. A professional five minutes. Right, it's good. Right, let's do this. Here we go, with Serie A. We're gonna win this uh, league. We're gonna try to do our pre-season today. So, in the video. So, if we can get pre-season done, then... Hopefully get a good start to the season, make a couple signings in today's episode. So... Yeah, let's do this. I think I'm gonna make maybe one signing this episode, and I might make a couple more throughout uh, August. So let's do this. Here we are. Signori, It's in Italian. I can't. I don't know what it's trying to say. I'll do the. Even though this is the least money, it looks like a hard one. A lot of Premier League sides. Wolves, Liverpool and Crystal Palace and also Brighton. This one looks quite good and then the one with the most money. Yeah, we'll give this one a go. Looks like it's going to be the one. I think that's going to be the easiest. Not the easiest, but like, going to get good money. It's not too hard actually, I don't think. Arsenal, Hertha, Berlin, someday else. I forgot to read that. I don't care about this. Um, I can check that all out later. So let's go to squads. See what we got. Right. So what I'm gonna try to do is today I'm gonna sign a um, goalkeeper because I think our goalkeeper could be a lot better. We could change them around. Try and move that up so that I can turn him into a cam but from not to be too high. Oh, same pen is going to be our up front. I can't read the same. Far. Far. Uh, I don't know. I'll have a look at that for episodes coming. But I'm going to make. Try get a goalkeeper and maybe even some backup wingers. I mean, I mean they're, uh, they're kind of young. Lozano's a bit older, but um, I'll go with this, the now, but um, I think we'll, we'll make a signing of a goalkeeper, which is what I'm going to be looking for right now. I think I might try to get a, um, a goalkeeper from the Bundesliga, 
can get a couple good ones. Or I could just go for the Premier League. I might take a goalkeeper from the Prem. So, goalkeeper. There we go, right. That's all I need. Premier League goalkeepers. Need to find somebody that's going to be good for us. I'm not seeing much so far. It's showing all the bad ones. There's De Gea. Could actually get De Gea. They're a bit expensive, but we've got. Newton. No, no, no. Still no. We need something better. Kepa's a good one. Hugo Lloris. I can get him for. For not too much. My friend actually told me to do a challenge. Um, how I had to sign a goalkeeper, backup wingers, and oh, what was it again? It was I also had to do, and a new midfielder, and they all had to be under the age of 27. So Hugo Lloris would be a good shout, but a bit old. Would be for what I'm liking. Might change. Oh, eh. Nah, Martina is still too old for the challenge. Let's see, so. Minimum can be whatever I want. And the max has to be 27. Premier League goalkeepers under the age of 27. Or what if I just typed right up. Now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now. Any. The so if I just did any. Right any league. The funk soul goalkeeper. That's 27 soul or under. Something that's gonna be quite good for our team. Right. Right, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to put a leak. Or else this is just not going well. Right, I'm struggling to find a goalkeeper. It's gonna be good for us. But let's go back to the Prem. Gavin Bizuno could do. Not a bad one. Or Kepa. I'm gonna scout Kepa. Nine days, not nothing too crazy. Um, I'd like to find now a center mid. Now we can get our backup wingers afterwards. It's also gonna be Premier League. I think. Elliot Anderson's good for his age. Joe Aribo. Arthur, not, not, not. Don't think so. Ben Rama, not bad player. Ben Tankur. I could actually get bad Ben Tankur. Jared Bowen. There's Bowen there. No. Carvalho, Ryan Christie. Hmm. Danilo, no. Come on, who else? Dewsbury Hall. I might do a Dewsbury Hall or Harvey Elliott. Ella Nussi. Bruno Fernandes. No. Joe Fernandes. Fornals. Gallagher. Bob Gilmore. Hmm. I'm having problems here. I'm trying to find a good one. Bruno Grimaldi is too expensive. Too expensive for me. Again, Kai Havertz, too expensive. Or else he would be completely perfect. Ah, oh, how big I would get him. Again, too expensive. It's kind of annoying. Joe Linton. Let's, let's scout Joe Linton. Nine days. So we're going to come back in nine days with our scouts ready. And let's see if we can... So we're about 56 million in the bank. So seven, eight, so we'll just get say here. I think it's exactly nine days. So we get Hertha Berlin. Is that Mallorca or something? Something like that, I think. And we've got Arsenal. So Arsenal's gonna be hugging. Hertha and I think that's Mallorca I'll check. So um, should be more easier games as a kind of practice, really. Just get us ready for the season and yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go, so Joe Linton, scout report. 79 overall. Hmm. 
We'll come back to that. Kepa, let's see. 81 overall, perfect. This is what I need. Let's get him. Right. I think the thing is, Kepa is going to be younger than whom, what age my goalkeeper merits, I think his name is, right now. So I'm going to do player swap. Goalkeepers. Merits. Do you think I could just trade that? Alex Merit. Alex Merit. Merits for Kepa. I mean, I'll take it. Alright, here we are, some negotiating. We're gonna have to use our negotiating skills and think if he's gonna be crucial because he's gonna be our first first team goalkeeper here at um, Napoli. Oh, we'll give him three years. Three years, let's do this. Yep, it's good. No release clause. Um you know what, why not? Can't be bothered trying to do um all sort out all his wages, just give him what he wants and We'll all be happy. But I'm happy with with that deal. And now we just have to try get a good centre mid for our team. I don't think Joe Linton's really gonna be the best shout for for this team. So we got an, oh it's an A price rating. Alright, oh I'm happy with that. Got the max out of out of the deal for that. But Joel and Tim don't know, 79 overall. Don't know if it's what I want. Yeah, it's fine. International match. Right, we've got a couple transfer offers. So we got Mario Rui. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. Aussie man, whatever his name is. Not, I'm not getting rid of him. Reject and reject. He's probably going to be your best player on the team. I can't, I can't lose him. Oops. Let's get rid of these messages, and we can get our centre mid into the team if we can find one in our transfers search players what if we tried a Bundesliga centre mid Bundesliga centre mid right what we got Mm, Jude Bellingham again. Oh, that's way too expensive. Yeah. So good for his age, but just can't get him for nothing. It's gonna be too much money. The hood. The hood could could be a good one or Diaby. No. Don't know the right meds. I need. I don't want right mid or that, I need like Nabry, no. Gravenberg, Birch, whatever his name is. Scout him, we'll scout him. Six days, it's not too bad. Six days to scout um, and we'll sign him and then we can get started with our first game. So a week, so it'll be the 16th. There we go, perfect. So we're actually playing Hertha Berlin first. It's the first game in about a week to come now. I'm looking forward to this game, but first off we have to try see what what this guy's rating is. So Ryan Grubenberg. 79, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. 20 years old, he's got got good talent and I'm hopefully can grow up to be a uh, a legend at this club. Let's do. Let's get try go to 37 million to start. Start off with 30. Oh, wait. oh no. 37 million. I'm offering for this guy. He wants 10 million plus Elmas. Okay, I can give you Elmas, but I'm gonna have to take that down. To, 
to 9 million. 9 million 100. What's that? Right, good. Right. And that is Gravenberg. Berk at our squad almost after he's negotiating. Then I will sell a couple of players, obviously. To, in order to get. I will sell more players to get money for the two, two wingers. And Greenberg is officially playing for Napoli. I'm I'm happy with with this signing. 20 years old, still got a lot in him. Came from Bayern Munich. Elmas is now left. And this is all looking good so far. Youth development. Oh, they're happy with my youth academy, are they? Greater than the average overall. I'm not in the same position yet. They're happy with what I've done so far. Well, so tw get 25 games without defeat in home matches this season, okay. Keep Sally growth under 10%, should be able to do that. Serie A, finishing the youth, a Champions League place. Coppa Italia, Fre Frecia Rossa, win the cup. Within two seasons in the Serie A, win the league title. Reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League, right? I think there's a lot of things in here that will be we will be able to do. But anyway, let's let's get to our first game. I'm not going to be playing the games, by the way, guys. I will be quick simming them um, to see what our how well our team is growing. And I will play the only games I will be playing will be Champions League games. I might do a couple kind of big Serie A games, but I won't be playing every game like pre-season. We're playing at Old Trafford, which is quite a surprise that we're playing at Old Trafford here, but Man United are actually in this um, pre-season tournament that I'm playing, and that's going to... And because he'll be there, uh, it means Man United will get to play at home. Which is good for them. So let's see if I can give him back. Let's do this. Well, Botka can go. Give him back. Let's see. See how you do in your first game. Kepa and give him back. First games. It was a one each draw. Okay, so I managed to get the goal from Osim Hen in, in the first 20 minutes. And then they scored just after half time to equalise. Not how I hoped the first game to go, but I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess I'll take it. But let's play our next game, which is against. Was it Mallorca? Mallorca, yes, it was. Don't forget to use subs. Oh! The, the game's kind of doing it for me, so I mean, so they actually lost their first game. So we're gonna go with a slightly different squad. Lobotka will be playing. I'm actually just gonna kind of change up the squad ever so slightly, just to kind of give different players a shot in in their positions. A lot of players will still be playing, but even people like centre backs and maybe, maybe even left backs and that could change over. This is our second game against Mallorca. Here we go. Kind of scared, but we're going to give it a go and we're going to win. So they actually got a man sent off in the first half. Once again, we scored in the opening 20 minutes of the game. And then on the 28th minute, Mafio gets a second yellow. We had to take off Osim Hen at half time. I don't know if that was meant from an injury or something, but Paul Atano then scored in the 74th minute to help me get that 2 1 1. I'm happy with that. So let's see 
where we are in our table now, we are now sitting in third place with four points and we're playing Arsenal. Here we are, Arsenal. Um, wonder where we're playing it. Will it be at Old Trafford again? Oh, yep, Old Trafford. And we're gonna play our starter team as well, just again. Um, that drew the first game, no game back will be added. And it's a 3-3 draw, an interesting one. Oh, he missed that pen, oh, same pen. Missed a pen in the second minute, then Jesus goes 1-0 up, then me equalise. Then Jorginho puts them 2-1 up, then me equalise. Then Thomas Partey gets sent off. Then Martinelli score to make it 3-2, and then um, we score in the 87th minute to get an equaliser. I'm actually quite happy with a draw against Arsenal because of how good they've done in the table this year so far in the Prem, um, not so much in the Europa League but in the Premier League Arsenal have been great this season so I'm happy to have even gotten that draw. I've got to admit though it wasn't the best of three seasons that I've ever done but we're here ready for the Serie A which will be in episode 2 as we open it at, against Bergamo Calcio at the Stadio Classico Stadium. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe guys if you'd like to see me do the part 2 we play against Bergamo Calcio. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!